Hello everyone. Today we are going to go through palindrome index, which is a problem on the string section of algorithm of Akari. So without wasting time, let us have a look on the problem statement. Uh, here's the problem statement. Given a string of lowercase letter in the range of as p a to z, determine the index of the character that can be removed to make the string palindrome. So what we're supposed to do is that we're supposed to have a string as input. And uh, if the string is already palindrome, we should return minus one as set here. And uh, if it's not uh, a palindrome, we should find the string that we need to remove in order to make it a palindrome. So how are we going to approach this? Um, before even approaching, what are some examples of how the thing is supposed to work? Let us have this thing as input. We can see that um, uh, if we remove the first character B, you will have C, B, C, which is a palindrome. So for such an example, and a valid answer can be zero, because by removing the element at the index zero, you have a palindrome. So how are you going to approach that? So uh, uh, a natural approach for me to solve this will be, okay, First, check if the input that you are receiving is a palindrome. If it is the case, you return minus one. If it is not the case, then you will be moving from the first character to the last character, removing the element at the position where you are, and check if the rest of the string is actually a palindrome. If it is a palindrome, then you return the index. If it is not, then you continue. And at the end, if nothing has been found, that means there's no solution, so you return minus one. How will it look like? We are. Um, since I will be checking many times, why not write a function here that will call a palindrome? A palindrome that will take a string as input, and I will turn a boolean. So I will just I will go with this. I will create a string, then I will reverse the string. I will reverse the string, and then I will just return. I will return the reverse value is equal to. If the reverse value is equal to the input, that means it is a palindrome, otherwise it will return false. So what will be the logic? The logic will be okay. If it's palindrome, if it's palindrome of S, then we return minus one, like we said, because if a given input is a palindrome, we return minus one. But otherwise we can look through our string. Uh, now, for each of the elements, we can create. A, we need to create a copy of the string, and from the copy, we need to erase the element at the position. That will be now. The, this needs an iterator, so this will erase the position, the element at position E, and we check now if it's palindrome of C, then uh, you just return I. And uh, if you find yourself out of the loop without returning something, that means there's actually no solution, so you return minus one. Let us run and see what it gives. So you see we have a congratulation. Let us submit and see what it gives. It is taking a bit of time. Okay, you see we have everything green here, but we have a time limit for some of the test cases because um, what you are doing here is extremely consuming. Since we know that we need to move exactly one character to make it palindrome, what we can do is that we can take our string moving moving through the string with two pointer that means one at the beginning one at the end and uh, if they are equal we continue we continue in increasing the starting one and decreasing the ending and uh, when we find ourselves with element with different value that means one of those two elements is the most negative the time point. so we will create a person with a value without the uh, element at the beginning and the check if it's a palindrome and create another one with the one at the end, check if it's a palindrome and uh, return the index, return the value based on the result of that. What will it look like? So we will not need to have a for loop here. What we need in search is okay. Um, even checking this, we don't need to check it here immediately. What we need, we need to have a start and the end, as we said, we need to load through starting. Okay, we already have x here. I can rename this as input. Uh, so s will go with zero. 
if we go with zero, if we go with input size minus one, while the start is actually less than the end. Now we increment the side, the starting, and we decrement the end. Okay, so uh, what we are going to do is okay if if the input of the start is actually different from the input of the end, then uh, we are going to break. Now, yeah, what we need to check is okay if this if the start is actually greater than greater or equal to the end. If the size is greater or equal to the end, that means we have been moving through all the characters of the string. That means the input is actually a palindrome, so we return minus one because it's a palindrome. We don't want that. Now, this is what we said. Now we need to create our two string. I will call S1 and S2. So, um, they will actually be, I will initiate them with the value of my input. Right? Does it make sense? I hope it makes sense. Now, what we say, we say in the S1, we need to erase the element at the position S1 the preteen plus the position start. So we need to check if S1, if it's palindrome of S1, then uh, the element that needs to be removed is the starting element. If it's not the case, so then we are, we are going to find ourselves here. We are doing the same in S2. We erase the element at position end, and uh, is S the begin. This is begin. S to the begin. Okay. So now and then we we'll check if is palindrome of S2. Then uh, we we'll return end. And uh, if we find ourselves here, yeah, that means there's no solution. So we return minus one. So let us run this and see what it gives. Before running, if you enjoyed the video, the content of what you are doing here, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, to share, and to give a comment. It will really uh, encourage me to continue what I'm doing. Okay, let us run and see what it gives. We have a congratulation letter submit. But yeah, cool. So we have a congratulation. Everything is green. So I hope you enjoyed this program. I do enjoy it. I will really be happy to have the feedback. So feel free to leave me a message if you have any question related to what I just did.